Consider we have master branch with a commit MC1. From this point, we create a feature branch, say F, and then we make some changes and we have first commit, say FC1 over here. Then we make more changes and there is one more commit, say FC2. Now, if we want to merge it back to master branch, there should not be any problem because our feature branch is already in sync with master branch, but it could be possible that in master branch, we do have more changes. Someone else was also working and uh, someone committed MC2. And now we want to merge feature branch into master branch. Now there could be two scenarios. The first one is that we were making a change in file X in feature branch, whereas we were making the changes in file Y in master branch. So if we want to merge it to master, there should not be any problem because the changes are in different files. But what will happen if the changes in master file are also done in file X? It's done on line one. The changes in master file are also in line one. So in that case, what will happen that if we go and merge it into master, there will be conflicts. So in that case, we will not be able to merge it into master. So in that case, what we need is either we need to rebase feature branch with master branch, or we should merge the master branch into feature branch, fix the conflicts, bring the feature branch into sync with the master branch, and then we can back merge into master branch. Let's now understand what is the difference between the two. Let's create this timeline once again. Now in merge, what will happen that we are going to merge the master branch into the feature branch. So there will be a new merge commit over here. Now let's see the case of rebase. Now in the case of rebase, what will happen that it will bring the tip of the feature branch first to MC2 and it will remove these two changes FC1 and FC2. And then on top of MC2, it will apply the changes FC1 and then it will apply the changes FC2. And then we will be able to merge it back to the master branch. But now there is one thing very, very important to understand in case of rebase that in case there is a conflict between master branch and feature branch, it will first of all, will look for only FC1 changes. Once the FC1 changes are merged on top of MC2, then it will merge the changes of FC2. And if there are some conflicts, ideally there should not be any if your branch is retaining all the changes of FC1. But just in case you are retaining few changes from MC2 and you are retaining few changes from FC1, then in that case, it could be possible that you will get more conflicts when it is going to apply FC2. So it will implement all these commits of feature branch one by one. So rebase is a bit complicated because you will have to go through multiple steps to merge your multiple commits. But in case of merge, you have to resolve all the conflicts once. It's up to you which way you follow. So it depends upon the amount of changes that you are handling in this process. So rebasing could be very, very complicated. I personally still prefer rebasing because it gives me more clarity of all the steps and it keeps a linear history for my feature branch as well. Whereas in case of merge, the logs are not linear. Let's now try to understand how rebase works. We have a file sample.txt with this content in it, line one. Now I'm going to create a new branch feature and in feature branch, I'm going to make a change, say FC one. And now I'm going to commit this change with message, say FC one. Now let's make one more change and let's add a new line. Okay. And let's do this, get a dot here and then let's write this message FC two Git log will tell us that there are two commits. One is FC1 and the latest one is FC2. Fair enough. Let's now go back to master. And in master, 
I am going to make a change in the first line. I will say MC2 and then I will add one more line say line 2. So this is only one commit and let's get a dot and let's commit it with the message say MC2. Now we have one change in master file where we have changed the first line and we added a new line and we have two changes in feature in the first change we updated the first line in second change we added a new line let's now go back to feature again and let's try to rebase master let's see what happens now there is a conflict let's see what is happening so we run this command for git rebase master on feature branch the first thing it does is that it rewinds the head to mc2 the latest state where master is it removes all the changes that you have done in the feature branch and then it starts applying it on top it has started applying the first commit that we did in feature branch that is fc1 but there is a conflict because in fc1 we changed the first line and added this text but in master as well we already have changed the first line so it's not in sync so let's do one thing let's get rid of this one and let's retain what was there in master let's see that fc1 is something that we don't require let's remove it let's save it and now what we need is get status so this is the file where we have made the change now we need to add it but one more thing that you need to understand is that we are not in feature branch we are not in master branch so rebasing is going on so what we need is first of all after resolving the conflict do get add dot get rebase hyphen hyphen continue now let's see what's happening we executed get rebase continue so it applied fc1 successfully now it's trying to apply fc2 so earlier we did not retain the changes of fc1 but we opted to retain the changes of mc2 that's why these conflicts are here again so we need to figure out which change we need to carry on which change we need to remove so what we can do is we can keep all the changes as well so if i do want to do something like this that's also absolutely fine so it, it's up to me what should be the state so i have resolved the conflicts let's now go back and do get add dot and get rebase iphone iphone continue now the fc2 has been applied successfully as well so now my feature branch is in sync with master branch just to confirm i can go back to master branch and now i can run get merge feature before i do that you can verify the changes so these were the original changes that was there in master branch let's now merge the feature branch and let's see what are the changes so you can see this is what we kept in the feature branch after successfully rebasing the master branch and now we have merged the feature branch into master branch as well so both are in sync just to check it let's check its logs and at this point head for both master and feature is at fc2 and both are actually pointing to the same commit let's now try to understand the concept of merge so we have a file sample.txt with line 1 in master and let's create a new branch feature and in feature we are going to make the same changes now fc-1 let's save it and let's do get add dot get commit with a message say fc-1 and let's make one more change say new line and let's get add and then let's commit with fc2 now let's go back to master and let's make this change mc2 with line 2 now i'm going to add it and then i will commit it say as mc2 let's now go back to feature branch again and let's now merge the master branch now there are conflicts but all the conflicts will be resolved in one go so what we can do is so we can retain this change we can retain this change we can retain this change 
so it's up to you if you want to retain an incoming change if you don't want to retain an incoming change or even if you want to completely change something all new let's do that and let's now check the status so we have this file get add dot and let's commit this change say conflicts result now let's check its git log now the log history says that on fc1 we have fc2 and then on top we have mc2 and then we have conflict result so the log history is not linear now in case of reways it was linear it was mc2 and on the top of mc2 we had fc1 and then fc2 but now it's different now let's do one thing let's go back to say master in master we still have line 1 mc2 line 2 and let's try to merge feature now so it's all fine now in master file as well we have the text all new why because feature branch was in sync with master branch so it's up to you whether you want to choose between merge or rebase and it does not really matter when you are going to resolve the conflicts that you have to retain one change over the other you can retain both you can make changes at that point of time as well that's not a really good practice but still you have the option to do that the only thing that matters is that both your branches should be in sync now let's take one final example when there are no conflicts so in master branch we have this file line 1 line 2 line 3 let's create a new branch feature now in feature branch i am going to make a change say feature let's save it and let's commit it get add dot get commit minus mc fc1 let's now go to master branch and let's make a change in its third line master let's save it and let's do get add and then let's commit mc1 let's go back to feature branch and now let's try to merge get merge master it will open the editor where you can edit this message regarding the merge history let's retain it and uh, let's use colon wq to save and exit now you should notice that in this file we do have the changes from the feature branch as well as from the master branch so the changes in master branch were done in the line 3 whereas feature branch changes were in line 1 so that's why there is no conflict and the merge happened smoothly if we go and check git log you can see on top of fc1 we have mc1 and then we have a merge commit so that's it from this video if you have any doubt please let me know i will try to answer in the comment sections as well thanks for watching study zone cheers